When selecting RAM for your gaming rig, what kind of impacts does the speed have on your frame rate in games? Does it make much of a difference? Is it worth getting the fastest you can afford or is there a diminishing return on speeds? In terms of the amount of RAM that you should get for a gaming rig in today's world, you can get by for the most part with 16 gigabytes of RAM, but you'll be leaving a good bit of performance on the table in some titles. The sweet spot right now is 32 gigabytes, which will cover any game currently released with plenty left over. Taking a look at three different DDR5 speeds side by side gives a great idea of what the speed does for frame rates. Thanks to Asgard for sending me their Valkyrie DDR5 5 32 gigabyte ram kit which is what i'm using to show the left side which is 4800 megahertz default ddr5 speeds and the middle is the valkyrie ram running on its 6400 megahertz xmp profile on the right side of the screen is my g skill trident z5 running on its 7600 megahertz xmp profile here in fortnite there is pretty even scaling that is happening with frame rates and you can see that by looking at the average of each of these clips and you can see that it is a steady increase as you increase the speed of the RAM. This difference as the RAM speed increases could be for any number of reasons, but RAM is used by the game to load information off of the hard disk or SSD and provide that information so that other components like the CPU and sometimes the GPU can then draw that information from it to further process and produce the frames you see. The way that the developers designed Fortnite to load in these assets is causing the RAM speed to make a difference in how fast the game runs frame rate wise. This is making RAM speeds have more of an impact on frame rates. This kind of optimization is neither bad or good, but as you'll see, not all games scale with different RAM speeds like this. Here in Cyberpunk, we can see the frame rates produced by by 6400 megahertz RAM is faster than the default speed of 4800 megahertz, but not by much, and it's just as fast as the 7600 megahertz. So in this case, it is not scaling very well past 6400 megahertz. This is just due to how this particular title is optimized. It's neither good nor bad. It just does not have the same performance impact as Fortnite. And here in Starfield, we are also seeing a lack of scaling past 6400 megahertz. Again, this could be due to any number of reasons and how the game is designed and optimized, but you can see that RAM speed does not always mean more frames per second. However, in the case of the 4800 megahertz to the 6400, there is a noticeable difference in frame rate. Here in Heaven at Unigen, we can see that DDR5 is pretty much the same across the board from its default speed all the way up to 7600 megahertz in terms of frame rate we're seeing maybe one frame difference between 7600 and 4800 and that's very easily attributed to a margin of error but this does show that even some titles particularly a little bit older titles as Heaven Unigen is a little bit older, may not even have a difference in frame rate when you increase from the default speed of 4,800 megahertz. So when it comes to RAM, one of the largest differences that you're gonna notice is how snappy your operating system feels and how quickly it loads applications into the system memory for you to use. So if I had to make a recommendation on how fast should you go with your RAM before you start to see diminishing returns, 6400 megahertz is a really great middle ground that's going to give you an excellent frame rate while also not breaking the bank. In a later video, I'm going to be reviewing the Valkyrie RAM that I'm using in this video from Asgard. And I'm hoping that I can make a recommendation for this RAM kit as it is 6400 megahertz. And it's right in that middle ground that really works well, gives you that nice speed, the snappiness of the operating system, as well as good frame rates in games. Thanks for watching.